Okay. We're let's... going for the accent. We should be recording. We're going to the Scottish Hills to fight for our freedom and the right for dragons to kill all. I stone the enemy of the flames. Oh, look, innocent woodland creatures. I suspect we're here to kill them instead. Uh, ah. Possibly. Burn it with fire! Sweet <laughs> Lassie does not know her place and speaks to a dragon! Well, that was easy to break. What? What? All we had to do was butt its head. Yep. Alright. You know, if they're gonna do this, they can at the very least play bagpipes. Oh, he is playing bagpipes! Yeah, no, that's what he's playing. Why didn't he have a kilt? Well, he is a state, uh, a stater. Well, he kind of do have a kilt. It's just not the color of the kilt. The kilts were a form of adultery. They told a, they told a clan's lineage to their different varying patterns. Wait, this is one solid color. Uh, on a side note, that is actually true. Okay, about I would like I would literally just about to ask that. No, like. Legit, the patterns actually were uh, kind of like a coat of arms that you wore to cover your jump. To be fair, you can argue that they're all part of the same clan. True, but there, there's usually still a pattern. That, that's my point. Yeah, well, there is uh, a pattern. Patterns and waves depicted... There is a pattern. For family, like a coat. Solid color that green with another solid color green going straight down in front of it. It's not a bloody pattern! <laughs> <laughs> That's a color scheme. <laughs> a pattern of two. Sure, that that that's a pattern. You know, they're supposed to be intricate stuff. Wow. So, okay, I thought he was gonna full on melt. I didn't know he was just gonna wave. Yeah. He's like, well, I'm dead. Might as well wave and be polite. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it at that point. You fell into lava. That's true. All right, we gotta save the other Scott spawns. The Scott Stags. The Skags. We'll call them Skags from now on. Wow, I have to get eaten by a tree. Or oh, a bush. And we gotta collect the bacon. We'll fry the bacon and then use the stomachs to make some delicious hot woman haggis. Uh, Although I think no haggis is sheep stomach. Never mind. Yeah. Oh jeez, haggis. All right, the bagpipes. See, don't talk to me about that. I still have bad memories. Of yeah, you inner... you ate the equivalent of Mexican haggis. Yeah, and that's it's a sucked. sheep in many ways. Only the Scots know how to properly stuff a sheep stomach. You know, I'd be willing to try haggis, but I have to smell it first and see like ten other people eating. You know, it's like, that's like that me and chitlins. Oh, yeah. Because I would have to see other people eating chitlins. And I would have to smell it, because from what I've been told, it smells horrible. Oh, I, actually, I'd have to do the same thing with civet coffee, too. Because, um, what was, um... What was in that one? The one you ate, Zed. The um, because I know it's supposed to be animal stomach. I just don't remember which. Oh, one. the menudo. It yeah. was uh, either some form of intestine or just the innards of the stomach. I don't remember what animal. It might have been like. I, I would think it'd be the intestine, wouldn't it? Because innards of the stomach can be um, gross. So it was probably intestine. Then I don't know. It was something like that. So which uh, which animal, Archimedes? You, will you happen though? Because I, I'm actually just curious at this point. Um, wh which animal for what? For like, um, what do you call this? Um, what is it called? Munis. For Muno? Mun yeah, that that stuff. <laughs> oh. Um. Crap, I think I know this. I have no idea. I know chitlins pig, pig intestine. 
part of the reason why people get sick sometimes when they eat, eat it because it's a freaking pig. Um, haggis sheep. So the only thing I can think of is cow. For what? For um, man, man, manubis, Are you talking about the thing I ate or something yeah, else? The thing you ate. That's menudo. Menudo. I can look it up. I'm at least, yeah, I'm just curious. Come on. Come on, just a little bit closer. You're almost there. Maybe I think here. it's, I want to say it's cow stomach. I, I think you're right, I think it's cow stomach, but I'm not 100% on that. Cow stomach. It's made with cow stomach. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Alright, so yeah, cow stomach. What? Well, every culture seemed to do animal intestine. Well, I, I know because every culture in some way is disgusting. I know why chit. I know how chitlin came into place. Chitlin was um, straight up. That's what slaves had to eat back in the day, so they tried to make it taste better. I didn't say they succeeded, but they tried to make it taste better. Haggis, I don't know. I don't know what the sky's excuse for haggis is. But I know that's the case for chitlins. Ch chitlins was literally is part of the food that um, slave owners didn't want to eat. Part of the meat that slave owners didn't want to eat, so they gave it to their slaves to eat. Slaves had to make do, so they tried to make it taste as well as they could. Sounds right. Now haggis, I don't know about. I don't know why haggis came about the way it did. I'll find out. No, yeah, do I know why um, Manuba, whatever that Mexican dis. Menudo, and I don't know why it exists. I honestly just want to say that they had spare parts. That I could believe. With, with that, I could honestly believe because if it if it is a Mexican disc, um, I do know that you know for a longer time Mexico had like it had a huge population of poor people who did who if I recall correctly. Ethley had a hard time, you know, getting food. So I did not need to read that sentence just now. What was it? I'm on the Wikipedia page for haggis, and at the end of the very first thing it says, Haggis has an excellent nutty texture and delicious savory flavor. I didn't need to read that. I, I yeah. think that's a lie. Um, I think that's a lie as well. Definition of nutty. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Come on. Just a little bit more. A little to the left. There you go. No. Ah, oh, that's so polite. Well, yeah, they just swung a pickaxe at me. I know, but they politely died. Yeah, they can at least do that right. I mean, they, they didn't flip you off while they were dying. Yeah, that, that was nice of them. Yeah, but no. Haggis, I don't know about. I, I can see Menudo being created, you know, by a pole Mexican so, family who, you know, just... Would you just... like me to start reading from the Haggis uh, Wikipedia page in the folklore section? Sure. Yeah. Okay, in the absence of hard facts as to Haggis' origins, popular folklore has provided some notions. One of the dish... Er, one is that the dish originates from the days of the old goddess cattle drovers. When the men left the highlands to drive their cattle to the market in, I can't fucking pronounce that name, uh, the woman would prepare rations for them to eat during the long journey down through the glen. They used the ingredients that were most readily available in their homes and conveniently packaged them in sheep stomach, allowing for easy transportation during the journey. Other speculations have been based on Scottish slaughtering practices. When a chieftain or laird required an animal to be slaughtered for meat, whether it's sheep or cattle, the workmen were allowed to keep the opal as their shit. So they just used them as suitcases. Quite uh, possibly, say, yeah. It was a sack lunch using an actual stomach. Yeah, that's And they just the were like, things. you know, they were like, well, can't let it go to waste, so I might well eat the stomach as well. I know. Oh, there's that's one more paragraph. 
So basically, they took the sack lunch and started eating it. They yeah. didn't even take it out. No, they just ate the whole thing. Uh, like, the last paragraph. A joke sometimes maintained is that a haggis is a small Scottish animal with longer legs on one side so that it can run around the steep, the steep hills of the Scottish Highlands without falling over. According to one poll, 33% of American visitors to Scotland believe haggis to be an animal. Really? Uh, Apparently. I never believed that. Yeah, I never even heard no, of that. No, me neither. Then again, I also always knew that it was a dish. This thing no, Sam, I always knew it was a it was a disc. I mean, we've seen the Scotsman from Samurai Jack so many times. Yeah, What's Haggis? That's from a nudo. Yeah, Samurai asking, what's Haggis? Hey, shit, stomach stuck with me. Yeah, they, they never see. They never say what it's stuffed with because they didn't even know. Oh, Menudo shares a name with a stew from the Philippines made of pork and pork liver. All right, that's no, lovely. No wonder you I got, didn't need to know that. No wonder you got sick. It's had pork in it. No, there was no pork in the one I ate. Oh, okay. It just happens to share the name. It just shares the name. I like how anybody watching this is expecting tutorials on Spyro. Instead, they're listening to people talk about some of the most disgusting foods. No, on the now I'm just talking about disgusting <laughs> food. <laughs> they're going, wow, this. I didn't expect this to turn this way. In the United States, since the mid 20th century, prepared menudo has been a, has been common in food stores and restaurants in cosmopolitan areas and in other areas with significant Mexican population. Fuck oh, this stupid Wait a minute. Wow. Restaurants often feature it as a special on the weekend, and the folklore believes that Menudo will alleviate some of the symptoms of a hangover? Well, yeah, you'll be too sick to think about the hangover. Well, yeah, the hangover will be gone because you'll be vomiting. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh, th there's nothing in like a folklore or history section. There's nothing telling me how Menudo was made. There's literally just regional variations, preparation. Four to seven hours to cook! Really? Wow. It, it, the first sentence in preparation is four to seven hours to cook are required. I'm just thinking, seven hours to cook and you uh, only took a few minutes to puke it up. No, I took a few hours to puke it up. I ate that probably around lunchtime the day I ate it, and I was puking it up at 1 and 4 in the morning. There you go. So, hours to cook, days to be sick after. Yeah. And a lifetime of trauma. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, thanks Oddly to this, enough, I can't eat Mexican food ever again. Yeah. Oddly enough, it was once believed that unicorn horns yeah. could cure hangovers. Well, right. I mean, if you could this even find a unicorn. Okay, I actually have to stop Googling this. This is giving me flashbacks. No, go ahead, man. Oh, God. Like, the pictures were fine to look at. They didn't look disgusting, but just the name is now bringing them fucking... Oh. Yeah, that's, that's all I could think of was that it was a just... So just some peasants in the farm was just like, we don't have anything to eat other than animal intestines. So, well, let's start cooking that. Nothing goes to waste. Even if some things probably should. Hmm. So cow intestine menudo, haggis, sheep, chitlins. Yeah, according to the pig. history, it must have just been made from farmers who made the soup from spare parts of the slaughtered cow. Sounds right. So it was literally just made because they had leftovers and didn't want to waste them. That sounds super right. Which sounds about yep. right. I am now going to delete that and quite possibly go into my Google search issue later to remove that from my history. Because I am more ashamed of having the history of Menudo in my Google search history than if someone were to find porn. 
should say that's something about something. how much my noodle makes me sick. No, that, I was gonna say, that's saying something. See, for me, uh, I'm like, eh. There's worse things in your search history? Oh, please, if they had, <laughs> if, if, if the government even had a clue of my search history, they would invent a new Guantanamo for me. <laughs> well done. You know, you probably shouldn't say that out loud. Eh, they gotta prove it. <laughs> it's you the government. You just said it, you it. admitted to it. I could be lying. Since when do they need to prove anything? Yeah. Oh, you got a lightning bolt. Does that mean you get lightning powers, or are you just fast? I'm just fast. Aw. Do you at least get the fun speed force like the Flash does with the lightning shooting all around them? Shoot, I hope not. I can't control that. Yeah, I can the, barely the control them at this speed. The current season of the Flash is vanishing. You know, they should have a set where he does... Did you just go through the wall? Yep. Steel though. Of course he did. Alright, all the fawns look exactly alike. I say they're witches. About the witches! Um, they got the same haircut, but they wear different skirts. It's the witch disguising herself so we don't recognize her for the witch that she is. See, green. Burn the ground! It's the only way to be safe! Brown. Green. Brown. See, she's in two places at once. <laughs> Burn her to the ground so we can be safe from the witches for evil. If we if we set her on fire and she burns, we shall know she is innocent and apologize for our miscorrections. By that logic, couldn't the witch just let herself catch on fire to erase the victim? Even more proof that she is a witch! Well, yeah, but then the whole test is pointless. Just like the real witchcraft trials. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's fair. And this is another level we won't be able to complete because I believe, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe, oh, three laps of supercharge. I can do that. Um, I may do that off camera. Okay. Maybe I can do this one all in one go. Oh, I thought he was going to use this as a human guinea pig. Um, he's using that as a human shield. So essentially we're going to make sure oh, this, this mission. Yeah, yeah, you sure. remember, you guys saw him. Oh my goodness, what the hell? <laughs> Look at that! Well, that didn't end well. We made a wall. The enemies became smart. Will you ask? That's impressive. Wait, hang on. Um... Holy crap! Okay, so apparently the only way through is to go around them. Because you can't kill them, right? N not without hand them into lava. Um, sh awesome. shoot. He's pushing them. Okay, so they got glitch. He got, um, they got moved to that location. And I gotta try to figure out a way to move them back. Oh, I think they got moved back. So let's just, you know, hit you until you get... It would help if he didn't move so bloody fast. Probably would help if he did move faster. Oh, so far so good. Hey, where are we going? Yeah, he just did a circle. He literally just did a circle. Pretty much. At this point, he's trying to get himself killed. He legit is trying to get himself killed. So we're on suicide, right. which is essentially. Pretty much. Wait, where did he go? Why did you go back? <laughs> You just said it, he's trying to kill himself. He went he's back! 
Can we knock him into the right area? I would. Oh, look. It's him. Man, do my feet feel better. Oh my it seems god. There's a way to do this. Can we just headbutt in the rocks? When you learn how to head bash, then we can kick some earth shaper butt. Yeah, so I need to come back when I got the head bash ability. And because I need to come back, I'll try this one time, which is do three laps at super speed. And you know what? I'll give it one try. This will be my one try. It, because I'm not going to do this on camera because this is just tedious. Yeah, okay, that was my try. <laughs> no, that was my try because that freaking thing is going to be... All it is is do three laps at super speed. And it's very easy just to hit something and have to start all over again. Um, go that way. So again, another level where we got to come back to it. Oh, I got to come back to it. Right. Wait, was this all because they didn't like bloody bagpipes? Yeah. Hey, you know there are worse reasons to start a conflict? Okay, so next time, I guess, we'll either do, um, for the last one, we'll either do the, the ice, well, I don't know what, how much time we're at, we could possibly do the ice flight right now. Oh, I'm we, yeah, we can do that, um, I'm gonna end this part, and that way I don't care.